Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little different. So we're going to be attempting to draw this T-Rex, which I've already drawn, um, in 10 minutes. And then after that, we will do it in 1 minute, then we'll do it in 10 seconds. So yeah, the 10 minute one's going to be the first one, we're going to put as much detail as possible, but I'm going to be timing us. So yeah, get out your pencil and paper and eraser and let's start drawing. I got around four different shading pencils here that I got from Arteza and this nice eraser. So yeah, I lost my mechanical pencil so I'm going to have to order a new one so we can use that. So here's our reference image. I'm probably going to put it right here. You guys just follow along with me. So I'm going to start the timer right... Let me just pick my pencil first. So yeah, I'm giving you guys a few minutes, a few seconds to get your pencils ready. And yeah, I'm starting the timer. I started the timer right now. So the first thing we're going to do is the outline. So I have a circle there for the head. I'm going to be explaining a little faster since I only have 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is actually quite short when you actually think about it. Put a line for the tail. This leg bent back. This is, by the way, Tyrannosaurus Rex Sue which you guys can see at the Chicago Field Museum. So we're just basically getting the skeletal outline. Two hands. So that's a good outline. Now, we're gonna start putting the head in. Make a line like so. We're gonna work from left to right. Put in these eye ridges, like so. By the way guys, I'm really close to 10,000 subscribers and I'm running out of ideas of what to do. Like, some people said I should do a video with my younger brother. I might do that. But a lot of you guys had some cool ideas like drawing, doing a tutorial left-handed for all of those of you who are left-handed. So yeah, there's plenty of ideas, but I would love to see your comments down below on what you personally would like me to do for 10,000 subscribers. I might even do a few videos celebrating 10,000 subscribers because I personally, really never thought I'd be able to hit 10,000 subscribers and I'm really happy. So yeah, let's put in this cavity. I've been talking a little too much about my channel. I have to focus more on the drawing since we only have around 8 minutes and 20 seconds. So time is flying. Let's put in these teeth nice and fast. Put in the muscle that opens and closes the jaw. Put in the bottom jaw, like so. Put in the teeth, and this pencil is so dull. These are the moments where I really miss my mechanical pencil. Take your eraser and erase the parts of the outline we no longer need. I'm gonna real quick sharpen this. And I'm a terrible speed drawer. By the way guys, I was gone on vacation and that is why I was not releasing any videos or answering comments the last two weeks. But I'm glad to be back home and now I can start focusing a little bit more on my YouTube channel throughout the school year. So the neck will be around that size. I really want to actually get everything put in so I don't want to have the timer go off and not be done with the tail. So I'm going to be speeding up a little more. I don't want to make it look too sloppy. Put a little bit of texture for the belly there. Now in this, in the picture I had originally drawn of this, which is quite nice, one of my favorite drawings actually that I've done, I made the leg, the thigh, this muscle right here, much too small. So I'm going to try to make that a little larger. Because T-Rex had to have huge muscled legs. To, be, to carry all its weight on just the hind legs. Probably one of the heaviest two-legged creatures ever to walk the earth. Spinosaurus, I guess, would be more of a four-legged creature. And T-Rex seems like more of the bulkier type. Carcharodontosaurus and Gignosaurus seem a little bit longer but lighter. Here we got the tail. 
this midline in. Now to make our drawing look less sloppy, let's take our eraser and work a little bit on that. Also put in the, the ground here. And don't worry about the timer right now because we already got the whole body put in. Now we all just have to worry about making our drawing look as nice as possible. I don't even know how we're going to do this in 10 seconds. I got this idea from another video I saw, in case you guys are wondering, you guys have probably already seen that art video. But yeah, let's put some shading in. I, th I would say shading is almost more important than texture in some situations. By the way guys, this is an HB pencil, which is sort of like, like a mid, not really that soft of a pencil. It's not going to be that dark, but not too light either. So we got that. Let's put some lines in. Give the back more of a rounded look. Maybe put some scales on the toes. Like so. That's probably the only scales we're going to be putting in. Add some more texture to the belly. Let me just check how much time we have left. Oh, we got we got some more time. I we got around four minutes and thirty seconds. A lot better than I thought. I'm actually gonna let's see. I'll just use this pen, this picture as uh, a way to avoid smudging. I think T-Rex's head is the most important thing about it. So I'm gonna focus a little more on that. I know a lot of people notice its arms after its head. That's what all adults have to ask me. They're like, why do you think T-Rex had such little arms? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> why would I know? Probably didn't need its arms since its head and jaws did all the hunting or scavenging that it needed. It didn't really need to use its claws that much. And T-Rex, by the way, is not the shortest armed dinosaur out there. Most people like to say it is, but it's not. It's actually, I think, one of the abilisaurid dinosaurs has the smallest. It could be Carnotaurus, but I'm thinking like, Majungasaurus is really short arms. So is Ragosaurus. That whole family. And most of them have like four fingers or four or five. Unlike the way Jurassic World the game portrays them all with like two fingers. <sighs> By the way, one of you guys commented recently what was the first dinosaur I ever drew. It's hard to say. I do have a notebook with some of my earliest drawings that my mom saved. And in that notebook there's a Pick drawing of a T-Rex, a Triceratops, uh, T-Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, maybe an Allosaurus as well, and definitely a Brachiosaurus. Maybe a Velociraptor as well. I just, I probably drew all the dinosaurs I got that were shown in my first dinosaur book that I got. Add some more texture here to the ankle and calf. We have about two minutes left. Ten minutes can be a long time. Most of my tutorials are definitely above ten minutes. I mean, this video is going to be longer than ten minutes, but this part of the video is going to be exactly ten minutes. So here you might want to add few random scales just to give the impression this is a scaly beast. This line is driving me crazy so I'm going to erase that. Let me just check my camera. Yep. It always is switching positions. So we got one minute and 30 seconds left. Let's continue these lines on the upper part of the tail. Got about a minute left. So I'm gonna take this minute just to add scales in as fast as possible. 
I used to do these a lot. And recently I've done, I've gotten back into it. Timing myself with my drawings. It's actually quite helpful for, because I, for me, drawing slow is a, sort of a, on, like a, when I sit down to draw, I like to produce at least two or three drawings, not just one. Of course, when I'm doing like a portrait, then it takes a few days to complete it. Because every day when I come look at it, at like a portrait I'm working on, I find something wrong with it and I have to fix that. But I also try not just to draw, work on the portrait that day. I'll work on a, a quick dinosaur sketch or something like that, like this one. This was like, that might have been like, no, that was a 10 minute drawing too. That one's a little harder because I was trying to decide what to draw. I basically came up with that, this little scenery by myself. So five seconds left. Add a few more scales in. And that's the sound of the timer, ladies and gentlemen. Our drawing is finished. Let me stop that timer. Now we can just sign it here. Put the date. And now we're going to head on to the one minute drawing. So a good strategy to use when you're drawing something really quick is to draw it a little smaller. It's like that drawing was quite large, so I'm going to try and make the drawing for the one minute timer a little smaller on the page. I just sharpen my pencil, then we'll start this timer. So again, I'm going to have the reference image right there. Get my pencil ready and start the timer now. So for this one, I'm not really going to worry that much about the outline. Because one minute is really short, and it took me about one minute to get the outline in last time. Let's get the eye, mouth, get that in. The legs are very important. Get the legs in, and this is really stressing me out, we got like 30 seconds left. And this is looking trashy. <laughs> the body, arms, claws. Sorry guys, I'm not really able to coach you that much. I'm really just trying to focus on trying to finish this in time. Put this leg in. Put some claws on these feet. Put a midline there. Midline there. Let me just erase this real quick. Oh, there's the sound of the timer. So that is my, let me stop the timer. That is my one minute attempt. So now we're gonna do the 10 second drawing. So I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to tackle this. But yeah, let's just hope for the best. So I'm gonna start it with my left hand so my right hand can already be on the paper. So ready, set, go. There's the sound of the timer. Wow. That was like, didn't give me any chance to do anything. So yeah guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you like the style of, of video, like the 10 minute, 10 second, and one minute timer drawings, please comment below if you'd like to see me do more of these videos. And tell me what dinosaurs you'd like me to draw. And also give me some ideas for my 10,000 subscriber video. So yeah guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, leave this video a like, and I'll see you all in the next video.